Okay, next example is SL2C. These are two by two complex matrices. Remember L stands for linear map or matrix with determinant one. So S here means special, stands for special, which means determinant one. Remember, general matrix is invertible, so its determinant is non-zero. Special matrix has determinant one. First thing to say, this is a topologically closed subgroup of GL2C. It's topologically closed because it's cut out by a continuous equation. Det A equals one. Det is continuous in the matrix entries. So that's uh, telling us that this is a, a topologically closed subgroup in just the same way uh, we had for the orthogonal group. Second, we want to figure out what is the Lie algebra, little sl2c of this group. Well, by definition, it's the two by two complex matrices A, B, C, D, such that det exp t A, B, C, D equals one for all t. In other words, that when I exponentiate t times this matrix, I stay inside this group, SL2C. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write out this equation uh, to first order in t, and then we're going to play with it and see what happens. So what is det of x t a, b, c, d? Well, it's det of uh, x, it, it's the identity, so one's on the diagonal plus t a t b t c t d. That's just because it's the identity plus this matrix plus a half times this matrix squared. But this matrix squared is going to be of order t squared. So I'm just going to bung that in a big O symbol. This big O means plus terms of higher order. So order t squared or more. This is not a big O as in orthogonal. Okay, let's take the determinant of this. I get um, one plus t a times one plus t d. Just doing those two. Uh, minus t b times t c, so minus t squared b c. I apologize if my t's look like pluses. Let's fix that. Um, and then we have plus higher order terms. Let's multiply this out and every time we see a t squared we can actually just absorb it into the big O t squared symbol. So we have 1 plus t times a plus d plus t squared a d minus t squared b c but that's all order t squared. So to first order in t we just have 1 plus t a plus t d. Okay, and this is supposed to be equal to one for all t. And it kind of looks like, okay, all this other stuff should vanish, right, for all t. And for that to happen, actually, we want all terms to vanish individually. Uh, you can see that by differentiating. So let's differentiate this expression at t equals zero. So d by dt at t equals zero, det x t a b c d equals, well, d by dt of 1 is nothing. d by dt of t a plus d is just a plus d. d by dt of stuff of higher order in t is stuff of order at least t, and then that vanishes when t equals 0. So I just get a plus d. And on the right-hand side, I'm differentiating 1, so I just get 0. So I get a plus d equals 0. So if a, B, C, D is in little sl2c, then A plus D equals zero. That is the trace of this matrix. The trace is the sum of the diagonal terms, A plus D. It turns out this is if and only if. I haven't proved that here. We'll see that later. Um, so that actually the Lie algebra of little, little sl2 is the set of matrices 
ABCD with trace 0. So A plus D equals 0. So that's our Lie algebra in this case. And this is really small, right? This is actually a three-dimensional complex vector space. So um, it, in other words, we've got a parameter A, which is the top left entry, a parameter B, parameter C, but then the bottom right entry, D, has to be minus A. So this is a general element of SL2C. Whereas it's quite challenging, maybe more challenging, to write down a formula for the general invertible 2 by 2 matrix. But for its Lie algebra, it's very easy. It's a three-dimensional vector space with coordinates A, B, C. So let's find a basis for that vector space, right? What What is a basis for that vector space? Well, I could take A equal to 1, B equal to 0, and C equal to 0. That would give me 1, 0, 0, minus 1. That's a matrix I'm going to call H. I could take A equal to 0, B equal to 1, and C equal to 0. That would give me a matrix I'm going to call X. That's 0, 1, 0, 0. And I could take A and B both 0 and C equal to 1. That would be Y. That's 0, 0, 1, 0. So I claim these three matrices form a basis for SL2C in the sense that any element of SL2C can be written as a times h plus b times x plus c times y. Now, this is a Lie algebra. It's supposed to be closed under taking the commutator bracket. In other words, if I take the bracket of two elements of little sl2c, I'm supposed to get something else in little sl2c. Let's find out what happens if I take brackets of basis elements. So what's the bracket of h and x, for example? Well, I just do h, which is 1, 0, 0, minus 1, times x, which is 0, 1, 0, 0, minus x times h, so that's 0, 1, 0, 0, times 1, 0, 0, minus 1. And if I multiply all that out, what do I get? I get 0, 1, 0, 0 minus 0, minus 1, 0, 0. The minus and the minus give us plus, so we get 0, 2, 0, 0. And if we look in terms of our basis, what is that? That's 2 times x. So h bracket x equals 2x. Let's do another one. Uh, what's h bracket y? Similar computation, Z, uh, 1, 0, 0, minus 1 times 0, 0, 1, 0, minus 0, 0, 1, 0, times 1, 0, 0, minus 1. Incidentally, if you're watching this, you should just stop and do it yourself, because it's multiplying matrices. You can definitely do this. Um, you end up getting 0, 0, minus 2, 0. Let's just check that minus 2. This would be 0 times 0 minus 1 times 1 minus uh, 1 times 1. So that's that's why we get a minus 2 here. So that's minus 2y. What else can I do? I could do x and y bracket together. x bracket y. That's uh, 0, 1, 0, 0 times 0, 0, 1, 0 minus 0, 0, 1, 0 times 0, 1, 0, 0. So that's going to be 1, 0, 0, minus 1. If you do that for yourselves, which is h. In terms of my basis above, that's exactly this basis element h. OK, so there are three nice bracket computations. And you can see that when you take the bracket of two things in little sl2c, you end up with something else in little sl2c. We can write it in terms of the basis that we picked. In fact, that's all you need to do to determine the bracket completely, because things like x bracket x have to vanish, because it's just x squared minus x squared. So all the brackets from x in itself, y in itself, h in itself, they're all zero. And if you want something like the bracket of xh instead of hx, 
that's just going to be minus the bracket of h with x because if you think about it this is x h minus h x and if you switch the two round then you switch a sign if you see what I mean it's an anti-symmetric operation so this example is of such fundamental importance that I'm going to put the equations I've just derived down here so h bracket x equals 2x uh, h bracket y equals minus 2y and x bracket y equals h this we're gonna use this all the time later in the course this set of relations so actually this is one of the most important examples in the course so there's just one loose end that we haven't tied up which was this reverse implication that I mentioned so we've said if ABCD is in little sl2c then the trace a plus d is zero we haven't yet showed the converse so what we're going to do is going to prove that h x and y are all indeed in little sl2c and then from the theorem i stated um, a few lectures ago uh, that the lie algebra is a vector space we know that any linear combination of h x and y is also in sl2c because it's a vector space and that will then tell us that any um, trace free matrix is in little sl2c because any trace free matrix can be written as a linear combination of h x and y so let's get to it um, what we need to do then is check for example that x t h is in sl2c for all t why is that well let's compute t h is t 0 0 minus t because h is 1 0 0 1 uh, minus 1 so x of this is 1 on the diagonal plus t minus t on the diagonal plus a half t squared on the diagonal dot 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 and on the off diagonal I actually get nothing as I take powers of this matrix the off diagonal terms stay 0 and if you look at these uh, Taylor series you'll see this is just e to the t 0 0 e to the minus t and the determinant of that is e to the t times e to the minus t which is 1 for all t so that's telling us it is in SL2C okay similarly you can do X and Y I'll leave those as exercises for you and that will prove that little SL2C is really the set of trace free matrices of size 2 by 2